go. It's your boy Zoda Session Session Podcast. We in the building with my boy Choices THF Billa. What's the deal, man? Yo, yo, yo. What's popping, my boy? We got the, we got Billa in the building. Choices in the building. We got a lot of shit to talk about today, man. First and foremost, this is the Session Podcast. Anybody that comes on, I'd like to get your introduction. Basically, where you from? Kind of what you do. Tell the fans a little bit about yourself. Man, I'm from the low end, south side of Chicago. Shit, I make music. I write music. Shit, whatever you need me for. Yeah, I'm from the low end, south side of Chicago, Icky Projects, Eddie and Justine. Shit, make music, shoot videos, do photos, you know what I'm saying? Anything in that nature. Now, now Choices, you got a new thing popping right now. Um, and it's low-key some hot shit. Me and Billy was talking about it earlier. We seen it. Um, it's it's the, What's the platform called? Uh, specific. It's uh, Mike Stuppers. You can go follow the Instagram, go subscribe to the YouTube, Mike Stuppers. So Mike Stuppers. And uh, so now that's like your version of like people coming on, being able to like, you know, just showcase their music? Yeah, yeah, and that type of nature. You know, like the shit that AZ got going on with the drop down mic, similar to that, but my shit just like, you know, a little more unique, you know? Yeah. So how did you like, you know, Obviously, like I heard you shout out to AZ and all those other guys that are doing similar platforms, but what kind of got you into doing a platform of your own? Um, like I say, I was inspired by AZ for real, though, but like I was just sitting back thinking one day, like picturing myself in the building, sitting on the steps, trapping and shit, and I pictured like a mic at the motherfucking steps, so then I just came with mic stuff, if you feel me. And I told him, don't do it. Yeah, bro, bro was like, nah, that ain't no good idea, and I'm like, nah. It was like, it took stuff. like... It took like seventy two hours to, to 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 really weigh on me. Then I started thinking about it, and I started seeing it because low key it was like something that just was in his head for a minute. Uh-huh. And he put that shit together, and then when I seen it, I was fake like amused, like I was shocked. But when it was time for me to to step on the steps and do my thing, I really couldn't even focus because I'm looking at what I already had seen. We talked about yeah. in his head. You feel me? So yeah. that was just like. It was like a, it was amazing. Like, damn, the shit that I seen is exactly what I'm seeing in front of me. Yeah, and I just was. It was like that shit could be something big. So, but what? But why originally? Um, did you just immediately say nah? Like nah, let's not do it. I just was thinking like a, a better name, a more universal, catchier name besides Mike Steppers at the time. Then it didn't just sit well with me. So it was like when he first laid it on me, I'm like, nah, you saying it's right, but we need a better name. But Mike and Steppers then, is hard because, like, I don't know. I ain't going to say it originated here, but we use the word Steppers. Like, as Chicago niggas, we use that word. Like, that's like, you feel me? Even, even before the street situation, you know, Stepping started here for real, you know? Facts. So, facts. That's facts. Stepping did, like, low-key start here in the Midwest and shit. That's facts. So after y'all really got it going and shit, like, it's obviously hard. It's a great ass. It's a good ass man. thing. And, uh, million dollar idea. Million. Man. Now, choices. Are you the you the one behind the camera, behind all the edits and all that jazz? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do all that shit. I shoot it, edit it. You know, do everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure that. So, what kind of got you into like picking up a camera, and you know, just trying to do do something like that? Like, obviously, you got inspired by AZ, but this obviously ain't the first time you picked up a camera. Yeah, yeah. Like I've been. Um, I've been shooting videos and shit for like, you know, eight, nine years type shit though. Like, you know, I was like just really focused on being an artist, Mm -hmm. but I was the type to always invest into my equipment and shit, you know, so I had somebody shooting my vids for me, but you know, I ain't gonna say I ain't like the work. I just wasn't satisfied with how it was coming out. So I sat down and learned the shit on my own and then I just stuck with it. Do y'all run into a lot of shit like that? Especially like you, Billa, like being an artist, like do you run into different problems when it comes down to like, trying to pay for someone to get do a video for you like do you run into a lot of problems of just dissatisfaction um honestly for real though it was kind of hard to get a motherfucker to shoot a video for me for why so it's shit certain people just feel like it's too much of a risk they don't want to do nothing they don't want to you know shoot the video for me then go somewhere fucking with somebody else and they might do something to them take their camera anything because mm-hmm. you know niggas pray on the week yeah and not saying that cameramen are weak, but, you know, nigga behind the camera, he he neutral. He, he ain't no street nigga, right. I mean, he a street nigga, but he shouldn't have nothing to do with nothing because at the end of the day, you behind this camera, bro. It yeah. ain't, you ain't on this side, that side. You don't fuck with this person or that person. You, you just fuck doing some with work. Who, who come call you and spend some money with you. Right, you know? right. So 
it was it was hard for a minute, you know, but for the most part, like all my videos, I'm satisfied with the outcome and how they come out, but I don't really fuck with nobody else for real. Like this is my go to for everything. So right. Like we like this. Yeah. So, you know, if I'm gonna do this shit, it, it been times I really didn't want to do the shit. You mm-hmm. feel me? He the reason I'm still doing the shit. Yeah. Always in my ear, man, bro, keep doing this shit. Keep going. You got this shit. Keep doing it, keep doing it. Man, I'm done. I can't keep doing this shit. I'd rather be somewhere doing this. Yeah. He, man, you got to keep doing this shit. Like we was talking earlier, he was like, man, bro, you don't think if you drop two videos a month for six months, you don't think it's you going to take off? Like, same shit he tell me, bro. Same shit. It's just like after a while it get a little bit, I won't say like discouraging, but it just get to the point where you just get it's yeah, a marathon. Just get tired though. of this shit. Yeah, like, it's a bro. marathon though, but it's not you know shit because it ain't really doing nothing. It ain't paying no bills for real. Yeah, you know? that's so the you thing. You gotta focus on what's what's gonna take care of the bills and what's gonna keep the food in your stomach versus focusing so, on something that ain't helping and ain't beneficial. Then we live in a a crab ass city for real. Yes, yeah. no matter who you is, where you from, everywhere besides Chicago, they support each other. They help each other. Now, you got some niggas who went to it, don't fuck with certain sides, but it ain't the whole city, bro. Yeah. Like, when the last time you seen six or seven niggas from Chicago on a song? On a song, five, right. five niggas from Chicago on a song repping a city. You don't. Yeah. But you see motherfuckers all the time. Atlanta's like my song. big one that do it. Atlanta do New it York, the biggest. New York do it. They yeah. Three, four, five motherfuckers. We from New York, nigga. This what it is. Mm-hmm. Scarlett just came with a new New York song. Niggas like, repping their city they rather than their blocks. Exactly, bro. <laughs> And this shit is like, man, like you, 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 you forced to pick and choose what you want to do. You want to keep doing this shit. Don't make none. Then possibly get caught up in a in a storm of this shit. Don't have a way out. What you gonna do? You gonna go to jail or you gonna get killed? Yeah. Or you can move on to something else. But see, if we everybody work together, just think about it. If they quit the it's this side and that side, shit, mm-hmm. man, it ain't no sides for real. It's only one Chicago. Really? I mean, yeah. This side, that side. What the fuck? If that shit would have stopped ten years ago, we'd have a thousand less. Be trailblazing some shit, yeah. It, uh, uh, less people would be saying R.I.P. to this person and that person. And everybody like, oh yeah, they want to push peace now. That shit, uh, in my opinion, in my eyes, that shit fake and it's phony. You feel me? Yeah. Because they ain't pushing peace; they just doing it with certain people, motherfuckers who they can benefit off of. Yeah. Oh, it look good for me to stand next to him. Yeah, yeah, China, yeah. And it's going to make us go up. The algorithm. Are we really in the, on the streets pushing the peace, though? Nah, hell no. Nah. Yeah. I look at it like they just doing that shit. I mean, it's a good look. Don't get me wrong. Because, you know, it's a start. It's a try. But they doing it too much on the internet versus doing the shit up in the streets. Like, you got niggas from different cities, niggas in this city, that city. They all on live together. Won't y'all link in the street somewhere and come push this shit? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's really going to be kind of, like, impossible to do the shit. Cause it ain't no, it ain't no structure. I feel like you gotta build some type of structure behind pushing peace and shit. Cause like the shorty's not really finna fall in line. The grown niggas in our area, yeah, they gonna fall. I'm gonna fall in line. But these little niggas, they ain't finna fall in line. This this what I say about the shorties though. I think with the shorties, it takes enough of the big guys, like the older guys, right, to to really push it because we made it cool to do what the shorties is doing. So then if we tr- if we reverting and now pushing peace, it's like it has to have that same momentum. It has to come from everybody. There was a time in Chicago, and I'm a little younger than you guys, so like I can literally just remember it. There was a time in Chicago where the music, it was like you had one, you had two from this side, two from this side, two from this side, two from this, and everybody was pushing the same message in their songs. The ops, the this, the that, the that, and that, right? And after a time, like you say, over 10 years, it just become, it's a thing. Because now there's a new generation us- ushered in. They following what they see, and it's the same thing. So I think with the push and peace, like, it can't be phony. It can't be fake. It's got to be a real push, but it got to be everybody. We can't have two rappers over here saying this, and then we still got another hot rapper over here who's still saying, you know, fuck the ops. But like, also, eh. you know, I don't mean to cut you, bro. But you got to also look at it like this, bro. You can't have uh, FYBJ Man running around trying to, you know, push peace and going to different places and trying to, you know, push the narrative, and then a motherfucker want to look at it like they want to do something to them. That ain't fair, you feel me? Because you know. if you want to be technical, in my mind, what if I want to push peace? But then, oh, yeah, niggas still going to want to try to do something to me anyway. If I'm serious and I'm 100 about what I'm doing, like, I, I ain't going to say that I think he playing. I think he's serious. 
Yeah, I think you see, they still too, find a way to say, man, fuck him. We going to get on his ass. and Just to turn a positive into a negative always. You see him? At the end of the day, bro, it's, it's, it's only we all from the same place. We could get rich right now together or everybody going to stay stuck where they at. One person might make it, two people here, there, whatever. But the whole Chicago, we like Atlanta was when Atlanta first took off. Mm-hmm. The only difference is we don't stick together. If we stick together, bro, we stronger than anybody, bro. We got all the talent, singers, rappers, actors, you name it, bro. Yeah. You go behind and s- behind in some of these county jails, you got some of the best singers, poets, artists, everything, bro. Niggas in Chicago, your homie will be a in position to literally push you to the next step. But because it might push you further than him, he won't do it. You see me? Yeah. Because in his eyes, he want to keep you behind him. He don't want you to go ahead of him. And in my eyes, I want you to go ahead of me. So when you go ahead of me, you, you can come up, back and pull, pull so, me up to where so you that's at. The thing. And then when I go ahead of you, I'm going to pull you back up. And we gonna, and you might pull another motherfucker back that's, up. That's right? a that's a cultural thing, though. Because, like, so, for instance, like what you were saying, you were saying mainly New York do that shit a lot heavy, right? I can remember a specific Jay Z line from Blue, from from uh, Blue, uh, Reasonable Doubt. He says, "If every nigga in your crew, your, if every nigga in your crew is rich, your your crew is rugged. No one should fall because everyone should be each other's crutches. That's the realest nigga shit. Why do you think that Chicago niggas, when someone gets on as one, like say you 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 blow, you the hottest rapper? Why is it that most Chicago rappers?" Don't turn around and collab with who they was just listening to probably two weeks ago before they signed that deal or whatever. Why don't they turn around and try to bring them on their album and doing things like that? Why do y'all think that is? Shit, I just be I, I just be looking at it like like motherfucker don't want the next man to get further than them. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That's the way I see it to sum it all up. Like niggas really be on some hating shit. Niggas niggas be really knowing the next man be hotter than them. Don't want to put that man in position. You feel me? Mm. This is what I see that goes on. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I've been close that to makes sense, though. different hoods, and I see this shit out of my ass, but without mentioning, you know, names, I be seeing this shit, and I be like, it's fucked up. I see niggas go sign niggas from other cities and all that shit, but stay homies been rapping for 15 years, stuck in this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, now, and I'm and a then big... the sad part about it, I don't mean to cut you like No, you good. Some of the niggas, are, some of their homies that get killed, and then they go posting them, RIP, man, I'm sorry this happened for you. You can't be. You had a chance to get them up out of here. Yeah. Now, this is one thing I am a firm believer in, though. Everybody can't go. Like, you get me? Yeah, that's I, facts. I'm, I'm, I'm a firm believer that everybody can't go. Because if you the one, you can't bring the whole team yeah, facts now. No you room. can't bring the whole team now. But what I will say is I think we can do better at, like, putting, like, okay, it's almost like hiring, right? Like. If you're the leader of a of a business, whoever you want to hire as your manager needs to be an extension of you. Somebody who's responsible, somebody who's looking to do the same benefit to your business as you would as the owner. You get what I'm saying? Uh, but obviously take a lesser role. And I think that's where it needs to come down to. It doesn't mean bring everybody. So you, you can have a homie that's been rapping for 15 years, but he could be ass. He could just literally be just ass. I'm not saying put him on your album. It goes back to like what what I just said. Like some niggas don't want to see the next nigga like go further than uh. some people will see like okay like what you just said like you want to get you want to pick the right person who gonna put the same. You get what I'm saying, right? Doing. Some niggas know that person to do that or times ten, but won't put him in that position because they know that he'll stand on that shit harder than he is. And he'll go further than See, him. that's then that's a problem. Like that's, that's, that's like only some yeah. Chicago shit though. Yeah, that's weird though. Like bro, though. like you supposed to be honestly just uh, even like I ain't gonna just subject it to just men, but like low key as anybody standing on business, you supposed to just stand on your own business. Like no matter who you put on or who you didn't, like you got hot for your fan base. You get what I'm saying? Right. You, there shouldn't be anybody else that comes in and takes your fan base. You feel me? So it shouldn't even be a weird competition like that. It should be more so just like we all working, we all trying to get it, and you get what I'm saying? It's enough room for everybody. You know what I'm saying? And collabs mean you could cross over to somebody else's fan base. That's how you build yourself, though. And that's that's a, that's a, a, a reason why I got a little fan base like how I have because Instead of me trying to always deal with people around and close to me, them the people that don't support you for real. Right. The people who you don't know, the people from out of town, and 
them be the people that really support you for real. Yeah. So, you know, trying to get everybody around here to listen to your shit, that's cool, but it ain't going to help. It ain't. It's only you gotta so try to get So when you it, trying to make music and you want to do some music, that, what I did was I'm going to reach out to this artist who in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. You know, he ain't got no big following or nothing like that, but I know that I'm hit him up, a, sh- a chef for a chef. Yeah. I share your shit, you share my shit. Yeah. He might not be that good, but I know that if he, I share his, some of my people might fuck with him, they might yeah. not, but I know when he share mine, a lot they of my gonna people gonna fuck with you. Fuck with him. Right. So, it, it basically breaks down to, you gotta be smart with this shit, bro. You gotta know how to market yourself. So speak because, of, go ahead. I don't mean to cut you off. No, bro, you gonna do your thing. When you're doing this shit, this specifically, like music specifically, if you're not marketing yourself and you're not doing shit in the right time, I don't give a fuck what you got. You can have the rawest producer, the rawest beat, the rawest camera, the rawest editing, the rawest cars, the most money, everything. If it ain't the right time, you ain't marketing it properly, that shit don't mean nothing. Mm-hmm. How many times you see niggas on YouTube, nigga on that motherfucker, he in a Bentley truck, he icy jewelry, real everything, money, models, the whole nine. And then he turn around, you look at the video, it's 500 views. It's been up two months, three months. Mm-hmm. Because it ain't the right time. You got to have a so you gotta have a marketing plan. Just like when you selling something, when you're doing anything, bro. You got to have a plan with this shit. But when it comes to that Chicago shit, like, I like Chicago. I love it. I was born and raised here, but. If you want to make something of yourself or do something in the music, you got to leave Chicago. Yeah. You only can, you only can go so far here. A lot of rappers have and, and have gotten it's successful. You only can go so far, bro. Yeah. What is, uh, so speaking of fan bases, right? I, 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 this is a question I, I, t- I think I talked to you a little bit about it earlier, but I stopped because I'm like, I really want to know this. How, does you, how do you feel, uh, like what was your first time, like your first feeling of seeing one of your lives recorded and put on YouTube, like how did that feel for the first time? Shit, crazy! It made me not. It made me stop showing my face. So then I started going live, and it's just all black because every time I go live, they steady putting that shit on the internet, and it's painting a derogatory image. You feel? Yeah. Me? It's making it seem like I'm just some cold-hearted, retarded, stupid motherfucker with some guns, yeah, or a motherfucker who outside looking to die or. Playing in the streets and low key, that ain't me at all. You feel me? Yeah. It takes for a motherfucker to actually meet me for you to know who I am for real. Yeah. And after a while, it just got to the point they stopped me from going live on, on Instagram. I'm so happy. Yeah, that's a weird feeling though, I right? I can't go live. That's it's it's to it's, see not not to see people view your live. That's kind of the point. But to see but to people see. record it. Ah, uh, yeah, they do. They they still do that shit to this day, bro, and they don't understand that. That make labels look at you a certain type of way, too. Like, man, this man, instead of me putting this money behind him, he a liability. Why would I invest three, four 400000 on this guy and this the type of activities he indulged in? Mm. You feel me? So, in a way, even if it was just a fan doing that, it could low-key hurt you because it's just like. No, nah, yeah, it's been hurting f- since the beginning of time because they don't post up the Anything else you're saying. Positive shit right. or something like that. They it's always got to be negative, you feel me? Because mm. negative content is what draw the attention. That's what people want to see. They don't want to see no shit sitting up saying nothing positive. Yeah. It's some positive shit. Don't put nothing about church or Jesus in it. They going to hurry up and get away yeah, from Yeah, they get shit. that shit off the algorithm. But you put some shit about uh, this nigga riding around with two guns looking for the ops. Oh, yeah. You want to see that. You feel me? Oh, let me go check this out and pay attention. It's weird. Then drop ash all on my shit. Y'all seen this shit? That's what happened with the whole damn goddamn session podcast. Your ass might catch your fucking fire. This shit is crazy. This bitch just fuck the weed. Goddamn. Nigga, y'all ain't never seen me drop a whole cherry on myself on the session. So first for everything, man. But fuck it. Play us fuck up. 
session podcast, man. Shout out to the gang. Uh, also, guys, so y'all see us passing this one mic back and forth. <laughs> I bet not hear nobody oh, in damn, the comments. I got the mic right but, uh, now. <laughs> My bad. I bet not hear nobody in the comments, man. Me and Bella was locked in to do it, and it was last minute choices wanted to slide. I said, I ain't turning it down. We just going to be on this bitch, man. It Rock don't matter. Out, y'all man. niggas watch lives and shit, oh, so y'all can watch this. Fuck you talking about. Anyhow, man, uh, just getting back into it, though, man. Uh, because we was talking about the fans and, you know, how they watch your lives and stuff so crazy. It's like, but they mass support your music, too, because you actually really nice with the music shit, Billy. You know what I'm saying? You done played me a few tracks, uh, you know, a little bit ago. And I was des- definitely like, bro's got to get a little more traction with this shit. Hey, because I tell them all, I don't mean to cut, I tell them no, all yeah. the time, motherfuckers fuck with this shit. This nigga got fans it's crazy. everywhere. Motherfucker go wherever around the motherfucker city or the Literally. country. They know who he is. Yeah. So with that shit be happening, like, I be telling like, boy, I wish it was like that with me because I be constantly dropping shit. You feel me? Yeah. So with just having that type of uh, effect, like, you got a great, like, a great chance at this shit to make it out. I know? think as any type of, like, content creator... Like, we're in the entertainment business, so people are watching us for entertainment. This is for them to pass time. I think you got to, the name of this game is literally consistency. And I don't think people understand the notion of, like, especially we're in, like, a short-term content era, that, like, you consistently have to be giving content. Otherwise, people are just like, all right, you ain't doing shit. Who's, who's out here to fulfill my time? On the mic, on the mic. Niggas ain't making them four minute songs no more. Yeah, motherfucker, I'm a song a minute and thirty seconds. People Literally. attention span short, but short. you're right though. You got to keep constantly, constantly, constantly repeating, dropping content. But see, this the thing though, bro. Goes back to that negative shit, bro. They want to hear that negative music. Yeah. If I'm talking about smoking, <laughs> I'm smoking that person. <laughs> For yeah. Real, you got to hold. Really? <laughs> 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 hey, look, no, nah, no bullshit yeah. though. You, you, you get on that motherfucker. I say, man, look, I was on the session. I was finna, I was smoking on the session about the smoke the session podcast, man. They want to hear that. Yeah. But if I'm telling them how me we we kicked it or whatever, everything cool, it's love. They don't want to hear that. Yeah, shit. it's they odd. They don't give a fuck about. They want to know we got into it. It was a problem. You feel me? Yeah. Knock the thing over, like. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck is on the mic. Right here? Yeah, that's how that shit go though. You got to be able to create that content, and a lot of motherfuckers don't even understand, bro. Eighty percent of these people that you see on a day to day basis going viral, Charleston White shit, y'all don't know all that shit staged for real. Really, it staged. At some point, you think that this shit a continuous thing every day, all day, everywhere. Hell no, nah, bro. Mm. They weren't finna let that man get no ring and box nobody no way. Yeah, they used him to sell the tickets for that other shit. Get that going. I'm going to take a left on this interview, guys, just because on my podcast, I like to show niggas that hood niggas are actually very fucking smart. And I feel like a lot of people don't take that into account. Like, I feel like they just think, like, all we know is fucking, like you say, guns and fucking shoot somebody. Like, (laughs) you know what I'm saying? Uh, But I want to pick you guys' brain a little bit because a lot of stuff changes in the world. A lot of things are, are happening. And, uh, Don't pick my shit too much. No, 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 no. You trying no, to humiliate no, no. me on no, the session, no, bro? No, oh, no, hell no, 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 no. Ain't no, I dropped down in first no, grade. No, no, no. Of course not. It's just a couple. It's just a couple questions to jog your brain. See what you guys think. One question that I'm always intrigued in, though, like on some high shit, especially when I get high, is like, as a human, we always wonder, like, are we the fucking apex predators? Like, are we the top of the top? Is it just us? Simply put, do you guys believe in aliens? I ain't gonna bap like I don't believe in that goof ass shit. Until I see one, I've been hearing about them bitches forever. I be seeing shit on the internet to make go an alien. I saw all these editing pro. I don't believe in that goof ass shit. It's taking bro. everything out of me not to fall out laughing. I ain't gonna lie, I don't believe in that shit. <laughs> that I've been said, on this bitch. Do you believe these. in aliens? Do you believe in aliens? <laughs> Do you you believe in them? Yeah. So I hey, now, I ain't gonna flex though. I believe I believe it's a I believe it's another yeah, I believe I I'ma say yeah, I believe it's aliens because you got to think, bro. It's something beyond this world, bro. Right. It's something beyond this world, bro. They they aliens. Well, to then us. we call they them aliens. That's the, that's like our word for them. Beings, you feel though, me? Like we don't know what they call, but that's what we call them. They extraterrestrial beings. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. 
all these years, bro. I haven't seen none that looked strange than the sky or none of that shit yet. Show me one. One of them pop out on me on the phone. Number, I believe it. Right now, I don't, I don't believe it. So you don't buy into the idea that there may be something other than human? Like, you think we're the end-all, be-all? Like, we're the last stop? No, I don't believe we the last stop, shit. We was only on this bitch for, like, what, 200-something thousand years? So we ain't the last stop, but I don't know. I just don't believe in the aliens. So if we not the last stop, then what do you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think. Because, like, just think about the world. Like, you ever just think about the Earth? Like, what is this motherfucker? Like, what is, you give me, like, what is this shit? You feel me? So you ain't never just thought that there's some, there could be something else that they have some shit that's like, what is this? First of all, you ain't finna s- smoke weed with me. <laughs> ask me these type of questions. Do you understand? Yeah. Oh, can you please change the subject? Because he got me right here thinking. <laughs> no, that, you know, they it's say, a, it's a, that's a question well, you got to think you, of. You, you believe the world is flat or you believe the world is round? Nah, that one I don't even know. Right. I'm not even like saying? a. I'm not even like a. Like, I don't know either though. Because there's there's like science and pseudo. Tell me you believe the Earth flat, blood. Nah, I believe it's round. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I, I believe it's round. That's one of those that I'm just like I don't know. I'm never probably gonna know. I don't even care. But it's a reason for all them other planets and shit out there. It'd be like it got to be some other shit. Yeah, going so on that's on what I'm business. saying. Like, have you never thought about like how we got other planets, but? Ain't nothing else out there. I think that like some shit that humans would be able to like never be able to discover. Like, I just look at like the human eye can't see everything. Yeah. The, you hear me, gang? Like the human eye can't see everything. <laughs> they gonna come get you. What, 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 what you said that's that for like, thinking they ain't real. They you, gonna come pick you, you up. You said that. That's like, like you seen on the movie when that motherfucker <laughs> fly down and then the door open and smoke come out. Shit, yeah, you gonna see the same shit. Well, they. I believe it's aliens, bro, because you gotta think, bro. Well, the they government found, said they, they are. found life on Mars, bro. So you mean to tell me that they found life on Mars, but they gonna tell you everything that go on? They ain't gonna tell you that a motherfucker went up there, he was left up there, him and another lady, they probably conceived a child up there, all mm-hmm. type of shit. My thing is this, like they saying they found life on Mars and all, all this other shit for real though. Like th- the shit could be true though, but I don't believe it because it's like motherfuckers going live. Look, this 2023, right? Motherfuckers going live every day. Why these motherfuckers ain't went live on Mars or on the moon or out of space? Yeah, maybe they're just not ready to tell, like, humanity yet. So that, that's that you know. That's some bullshit. Show that <laughs> shit. Y'all showing everything else. Go live while y'all ass finna fly out the earth. That's true. Hey, they I'm not one. It. I don't think we've actually even been to the moon. I don't Me believe personally. that shit. They said it's a flag up there. I don't know. You believe it's a flag up there? Beautiful thing in the, in the corner over there? I don't think we went to the moon. That's just me personally. You believe I have it's my a flag reasons, on the moon? <laughs> On the moon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think anybody's been to the motherfucking moon. When you got high, you went to that motherfucker. Yeah. Hey, look, I'm going to answer this and do this one. But don't come to talking about do I think Tupac did. Next. Nah, 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 nah. I want to ask you guys next, though. I want to ask you guys next, though. Did you guys play any sports? If so, yeah, what's I played basketball, baseball, football. I'm cold at sports. What was you? What were you? What were you oh, nice? No, 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 no. What were you nice in? Like, I, I know you. Everything. Just, nah. What was you? What was that one? Nah, nah. Don't tell me everything, cause, cause the niggas was. I know some niggas that was nice in everything. But what was you like? The one thing that everything, you could put a hundred dollars on anything, and everything, you getting it, bro? I'm left handed. Uh-huh. I play baseball, basketball. I need football. somebody in the comments to confirm. Anybody that, that know me, will tell you, nigga. That, hey, look, anybody that know that you, will tell me that nice. you can't stick me. And I'm going to shoot what? in basketball. Cap. And I'm going to shoot that bitch from anywhere, cap. all net. Smack that's, who? That's Cap, Billy. Man, you crazy. That's Cap, Billy. I was Curry before Curry was Curry, nigga. Kill it. Billy, that's Cap, man. Hey, look. In the comments, anybody that ever played ball, went to school with me, let this nigga know, man. Bro, they're nice going to they let bro. you know back, bro, got hardware. They're going to let you know I got nice. rings. We got nice. championships, dog. I do. I played for Morgan Park where we won, like, we went downstate every year. I don't even know what other niggas was doing. I was playing while y'all was oh, at home. I was, I was, I was, when you tell me, when you was playing ball. Originally in life, yes. Uh, There was a lot of niggas better than me. I'm not going to act aliens like. Aliens got it. Like, nigga, <laughs> nah, uh, nah, actually what happened to me personally, like I said, a lot of, like, like I went to Morgan Park and I had, out of 15 guys, I had maybe let's say eleven guys just flat out better than me. 
just flat out better than me. But I could go to any other school and be better than anybody else. But on my team specifically, right. like we were ranked, for, and I think coming into the year 17 or something like that in the country, right. we were just insane. Like, Morgan Park always had a name for that. Yeah, it was yeah. that. So for me personally, and I was always very smart. Like I'd help the guys with shit, like right. life. Right, you get me? Like, I was always, like, an old head nigga to my teammates. It was, right. like, just that type of support. So, for me personally, I knew basketball was not the end-all, be-all. I wanted to do something with basketball, but personally, it's just, right, like, right. yeah. I, I I was I banked on my brain a little more than I did my, my knees. I used to play ball a lot, too, in the projects, though. But, like you just said, it was, it was niggas way. It was niggas and females way wild than me. I'm like, no, nah, that ain't. Man, put Billa back on the back. Because Billa been talking like he's just nice. Who? I, I need, ain't going to lie, Trace. I'll, I'll ball your little ass up. <laughs> you no problem, I've been bro. saying this for for No months. problem, bro. We can no go problem. to the gym. We can go we to the go court outside, tomorrow, man. Fuck it. Bro. I know it's a I'm court a, somewhere around here. I'm going to stop this. I'm talking about size. It don't matter because you a little bigger than you bigger than me. I ain't going to be trying to do all that shit, boy. I'm not. Video I'm shit. shooting that. Ooh, what? Taking that motherfucker. I'm shooting your shit out. Man, you crazy. Troy, I seen you on that video. You cannot fuck with me, bro. Man, look, I'm them was just test shots. I'm I was nice. in that bitch working out. Billy, what type of what type of player were you on the basketball team? What type of Pass, player? First shoot, last. Like point guard, like Jason Kidd was, type nigga. That's what they call me, man. Cause you Jason was like, Kidd. <laughs> well, what? <laughs> nigga, and I'm dropping. They called you J Kidd. Ass, I went from Jason Kidd to White Chocolate, nigga. Yeah. Jason Williams. <laughs> you are not you nice now. Nice. You weren't that nice. I could. I believe you could probably play some ball. Like most Chicago niggas can play ball now. That's why. That's why we breed so many hoopers. Oh, it never stops for me, buddy. Hey, no low key though. This is a magic. I won't tarnish our name, but this is nothing new. But this bitch been this big for like twenty five minutes. I swear to God. Hey, man, welcome, welcome to the session. The air burns slow around here, bud. Man, look, the man just asked us about aliens, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna forgive you for that. Hey, I ask everyone about aliens. That's my one question that I feel like I want to ask you how you feel about Donald Trump because that's my man's man. I me fuck personally, I try to. I don't. I don't have a side. <laughs> look, hey, look, make America great again. I don't man. have Y'all a side. Fucked up. Trump was. A, What's your thing with Trump? What are you Joe around on? this bitch? Joe, he losing his mind in the middle of the press conference. He don't know which way to go. He falling asleep. Man, get him up out of here, G. They knew they was bogus. So you yeah. wish we had Trump back in office? Hell yeah. What was the great thing that Trump did for you that made you still like, Trump like was, that? He ain't do shit for me. No, Trump was <laughs> Trump was a white man. I just want to know, like you know, like Trump was a white man in a black man's body, bro. Mm. Why you say that? What, 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 what? He did, let him he talk did what shit. he wanted to. Let give they he side. did what he wanted to, bro. He said what he wanted to, did what he wanted to. They got my okay. man clear cut. Say, I don't talk. When they walk up, I just grab him by the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that. Any Yo. other president they getting rid of, and they try to impeach him, lock him up. All the, Trump a gangster, bro. And I ain't going to lie to you, man. Mm-hmm. We could have had anybody but uh, Uncle Joe. Yeah, Uncle Joe, that, that what uh, what you call it? Call him weekend at Bernie's on my mama. The nigga, <laughs> the man have man, he ninety seven years old. Y'all want to post him? He got on a diaper. He up there forgetting the shit. He, he like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hear you on that point. Well, how many times you seen them just confused up on the podium though? Walk and turn around like, yeah, yeah. get Joe out of that man. Joe finna go anyway. <laughs> they need put his ass in a nursing home. Hey. Them immigrants tanking over. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, oh, wait. <laughs> hey, yo. Honest, I mean, it's a fact. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hide from it. There is a, f- a surplus of immigrants here in Chicago. And right they now. gang banging y'all. Bro. No, I've seen some on. Hey, yeah, no, hey. I've seen some tough looking guys. Okay, I don't know Dangerous. if they were gang banging. Dangerous, but I nigga. saw some guys that made. And I'm from Chicago. Nigga right here, cut your head I off. I saw with some a guys butter one night that I was like, hey, now. Ooh, like what's going? You know, I did. I won't lie, but I mean, this is America. It's been a country of immigrants f- since Angel and Ellis Island days. This is nothing new. I think we're just seeing it in our time. I ain't gonna let you. There, there's this always been a surplus of like immigrants come in when their country goes to a bad place. This, this is this is repeated history. No, I ain't gonna let you see that shit. <laughs> Get on the mic, man. 
seen them immigrants, man. <laughs> hey. Dude and them taking this bitch over. They dangerous. I seen them. I'm scared of them niggas. They look like they'll cut your head off all type of shit. And they, bro, they pack, They got pipes. I don't know where they get them guns from. Bro, them niggas got guns, man. Hey, 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 now. Man, look, I right. better be careful. You see them immigrants hey, get away you, from their ass. Wait, Bill, so I got to ask you this question since we just talked about that. Have y'all heard about the 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 gun crates? The the you you've never heard about the the gun crates? I uh, heard of some shit about the gun crates, but I can't attest to the realness of it. Yeah, I heard some shit about it, but I don't really too much know about it. You know? Yeah. What is it? So about? apparently, there are some old school, like old head, old gangsters. You know, that was you know gang banging back in like the nineties and shit like that. And apparently, they claim to have. Over, you know, course of years and stuff, they would randomly find crates full of guns randomly in alleys. Like, they would be like, you know, they may be like tucked or behind some type of garbage can or something like that. Like, they won't just be in like plain sight. But they would. Well, that's the thing. They would say that they believe that they're. It's an old Chicago, like, hood myth legend. We don't really know it's for true. But they say. You you you've heard someone well, say? I don't believe they dropping crates of guns off. That's what they nah. they said. And this is hey, a, this, bro, no, this was early. This is like the nineties. They said this is some, this is it's like on YouTube all type my of shit. My uncle, my uncle was indicted by the feds. My uncle was a police. He was selling bricks and shit, and he got locked up by the feds. Nigga, I I know about any and everything got something to do. My whole family from the streets of Chicago. So you don't believe that that myth Nigga. is real? Hell no, they ain't just dropping crates of gun. Now, they might have some connections with certain gangs or mafias where they paying or something, and they was dropping them crates of gun, but they just not dropping guns off just for a motherfucker. Ain't that, oh, yeah, they dropping guns off? Hell no. Well, the theory is that they did that to create what we got now. It's just, just a bunch of bullshit they just might hit with the guns. freights and get a couple crates of guns or something. Yeah, but how but, do you think people hit those freights? You think that shit's just... Yeah, shit. I, well, let me... Uh, no comment. No, nah, yeah, I hear I'm that. I'm going to tell you like this, bro. Trust me, man. You don't know what you'll find. Well, we're going to blame the government on the podcast because we could do that. It's freedom of speech. We won't blame anyone else. So we're just going to say the government did that to us. The government did it. No crazy gun. That's some old goofy shit for you to make you believe. Hey, I thought it's, I just asked if anyone's heard of the story. Yeah, for a couple of dollars. And then... That niggas bringing ain't bringing them nothing at work. Half of that shit don't even work, man. I done turned some of into them too. Hey, I know man, how I that got shit this goes. rifle. This motherfucker don't work. They giving two fifty. All right, let me take go drop this big ass rifle off. I've been having in the closet. Yeah. Before you guys go, man, I want to ask one question. Um, it's just a Chicago question. What's y'all favorite, like y'all most favorite Chicago memory? Like, just some Chicago shit, but it's just, like, it always resonates with you. If you go anywhere, you think of some Chicago shit, it's, like, this one thing that can just, like, it's just your best Chicago memory. Yeah, for me, I ain't going to bop. It was, um, shit, it was when the Bulls was winning, boy. That bitch, this bitch was going up. You feel me? Like, all that looting shit that just happened not too long ago, that shit, was, it was like that when they was winning that shit. You feel me? That shit was, like, I don't know, some as a shorty growing up, that shit was, like, a, a, a nice-ass memory, though. On the positive side, you know? No, that's uh, a good I was going to say the same thing. My godfather, rest in peace, Titus, he um used to take me to the Bulls games. And I remember going to the Bulls game in 1998 when they won a, um, when they won a championship. My godfather, Titus. That's fire. I'm talking about he jersey, hat, everything. Me and that motherfucker. You got to go th- yeah. to see Mike? Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. And and when he was with the Bulls, for real, that's tough. At the, at the end of the road, for real. Yeah. The last year. That's but tough. We used to go way, but we was going before that. But yeah. I remember going to the 98 final. Damn. The finals. That's fire. That's a great memory, guys. Bill, I appreciate you coming in. Choices, I appreciate you guys. It's been a great time, man. I appreciate you guys. I'd love to have you guys back later down the line. This shit was amazing to talk to you guys. Great insights on things, especially things going around Chicago. Anything you want to add, bro? Yeah, go follow me. Hey, uh, Eight Choices Fams on Instagram, at Mike Stubbers on Instagram. Subscribe to Mike Stubbers on YouTube. A lot of music and all type of shit on the way. We're going to make sure we get everybody's 
tags, YouTube's, uh, Instagram. It's all gonna get put up on the screen description. We gonna here we go get you up. Hey, I'm really so worried. What's this man? I wonder why the fuck our interview's so short, goddamn. Oh uh, man, it's because we just talked about short content. It's on 40, 42, 42 <laughs> yeah, minutes. Good. That's good. Oh, so you don't even talk like that. That's good. This is the Sessions Podcast. Where the weed at? Whoa. Yeah, we got way more. You want to stay on? Nah, I'm yeah, not let's, opposed. Let's rock out, man. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. This nigga started talking. I want to dive. I ain't going to lie. I've never talked politics on my podcast. Man, we can talk politics. I love so, politics. look, we going to. Fuck it. Byrus, edit out the the outro. We keeping it going. We got some more weed. Try this out for size. I can't do no more rolling, though. I'll roll it. Fuck it. Y'all, I want you to talk. I want to ask, though. Oh, I got wood. I got papers. I got whatever you guys need. It's the session podcast, hey, bud. I don't know. Yeah, well, he say let's rock out. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no, baby. Sw- she said swishers, guys. If y'all couldn't hear off camera, she said swishers. Bro got rice and beans on my shit. He, yeah, we in this bitch. Let's oh, rock man, out. This is a real problem. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I knew getting this nigga it was gonna be a movie. Hey, it's a real. <laughs> this is a real podcast. It's a real podcast. So look though, yeah, look, look when we be out and about, you know, doing our one two. Mm. You thought that was some boy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, Lucky it was a little early in the day. I turned this motherfucker all the way up. So look, let me ask you, because you the first, not the first, but like, you don't hear a lot of black people vouch for Trump. Mm, yes, you do. Shit, where you been I, at? Look, hey, I mean, publicly, we're known to have. Always voted Democrat here in in Illinois. So, what do you think is the change? Are you think do you think this is going to be a new wave of primarily Republican voting from what you're seeing? Shit, if Trump running, <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, what if Trump's not? What if Trump doesn't I'm win mad. a primary? I'm mad. I ain't got no motherfucking M A G A hat on right now. <laughs> wow, you see, because he is a white man. With a black man living inside of him, boy. Do you hear this, man? Do you see what he did? You don't know no president that ever did. You talking about like with the stamina and shit? Fuck them checks, Is, is man. it just the style? He was, wait, wait. he was doing his own thing, bro. <laughs> is it just... But, boy, nah, because the stimulus was like... Well, the stimulus was a COVID Barack, reaction. Barack ain't do shit. But Barack couldn't give stimulus because there wasn't COVID. So man, we can't Barack say that. Barack did shit. Right now, uh, who? What that... Man, that shit don't get... Did that. You, and you go to the hospital, get shot six times, they're going to put your ass out in the morning with that with that Barack Obama insurance. You'll be out of there in the morning, at home, to my man, this shit man, hurt. Man, what the fool do out of, outside of them Ooh. stimuluses and shit? Man, Trump did what the fuck he wanted to. So is it just the way he acted? Is it just his demeanor that, man, that you fucking with? Whole, listen, listen. What first, he do? What he do? What he, he do for the country created, outside of You don't see stimuluses. how many jobs he created and shit, boy? How much money he put... The f- Fluctuated through this bitch. Now, one thing I do know, he you was know like, I mean, the pounds and shit went down. Nigga, <laughs> Trump went in office, the pounds went down to seven hundred dollars. Nigga, stop Ooh, that playing. was a thing. Obama was in office, the pounds thirty two hundred. Nigga, that stop was playing. a gas prices also were at a very low time. I don't know if that like yeah, you know matters. What? Gas went back down to two. Yeah, two, it, two was, 12, it was reckless. Two twenty five. That was Trump, yeah, my boy. That was Trump. I ain't gonna lie. But, like, that's literally shit that affects our everyday life, like gas you prices. You that wall say, fuck that. Y'all ain't bring that shit over here for free no more. I need in. Yeah. Stop playing, man. Dude was a gangster for real. So you think it was, like, his business mindset? Hell no. They over there taking parts of that motherfucker, building shit to float. <laughs> they ain't even finished building that motherfucker, that motherfucker. Though. So you, so you think it was Trump's business mindset behind running the country? Yeah, he, that was, did he it. a hell of a businessman, bro. That's why... We was fucked up when Trump got in office, bro. We was fucked up. Mm. Yeah, you see what Trump did? Nigga, Trump going over there to Russia and shit, shaking hands with them real niggas. <laughs> Barack Obama wasn't going over there fucking with them people. His ass wasn't going to come back. Barack was fucking with, like, the Saudis and shit, though. Man, I remember him doing, like, a... Trump a bomb that shit. <laughs> bro. Dude was a real gangster, You think dude. Trump would really set it off with anybody? If Trump was in office, Britney Griner wouldn't have been in Russia that long, man. That's real. Keep this shit office under, during man. them PPPs and shit. No, but wait, he got a point. Yeah, that was all Trump. Oh, yeah. Un- <laughs> unemployment, PPP, oh, yeah. Trump. Fuck like you. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, yo. Uh, so, unemployment, PPP, the second round. 
I don't be keeping up with all that shit. I be too yeah, busy shooting that, yeah, that that was Trump. and recording music. I don't be keeping up with that shit. But if he was the one in the office doing that shit, then yeah. <laughs> yeah Trump, he made hey, this look. bitch go around. Him, and not only that, though, Trump <laughs> went man with motherfucking get this shit with no problem. Yeah, look, sign your name, do this. <laughs> man, do that somewhere. In the, they got him right now somewhere. They got him right now somewhere in the bed tucked in. Yeah, they, Biden don't look normal. They get his ass up only when it's time to come out for a press conference. He come out. He got Alzheimer's, what? dementia. He an alien. <laughs> hey, don't get me. Please, hey, guys. Why you play, the, hey, why you playing? Why, why y'all be playing? Be an alien. They got him on the internet showing all type of shit where his skin ain't real. All type they, of shit. They, they, say, they, say that, they say that President Reagan did a deal with the aliens in the 50s for technology that's in an exchange with aliens for technology for like humans because that's what the aliens apparently ate they fed off like our blood and fear or some shit like that or the the shit that comes into our blood when we're scared oh, and shit. apparently that's a that's a theory now it's not like a real thing confirmed but that's the oh, theory shit. of it all so it's apparently yeah, say they eat us since the 50s it's been like we've been basically run by aliens in a sense that's the theory of it all. And uh, that's just because I'm big into the conspiracy Bro, theory. But the alien situation, I ain't going to lie to you. I believe it's something. I don't know if it's the big eyed, huh? gray alien. I don't, know what, I don't know what it is. It's the session, nigga. Yeah, yeah nigga, I ain't got no time. On, I got weed like water. It's the motherfucking session podcast, what you nigga. I'm yeah. trying to tell you. That's yeah. why he asking about aliens. No, nah, but go back on the aliens. Because you tried to climb nah. me, but you can't act like that's not a real question niggas nah, have thought real, of for nah, real. Like, real, real nigga shit. What's like, someone's shit? thought of, like, what I the fuck? I just try else? not to watch too much of that bullshit. No, you ain't got to watch it. Mind, no, 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 you don't have to watch it. To, But that's the problem, I feel. I, I feel like we always hinder our minds from jogging outwards. So whatever they tell us is just not a thing. Like, if we never jog our mind to be like, you know what? What the fuck else is out there? Then how will we ever even get to know? Like, I don't want to die without knowing some answers. That's my thing in life. What's the what's the nigga name? I think that's when you found out all the answers. You what's the nigga name like, yeah, who, that's flew, real. who flew out there, uh, who, who got all the money? Uh, what is it, Jeff Bezos? You no, know, you talking about oh, Elon. Uh, Elon Musk. Yeah. Bro, you should ask Elon what's going on out there. He went out there. Well, niggas I, sperm believers that e- Elon is an alien. There's full-blown, like, communities that believe Elon Musk is not real. Yeah. That's why, I, like I say, I don't watch too much of that shit because I don't want to fucking with my thoughts and my mind and shit. Got me asking people about aliens because I don't fuck with aliens. Aliens, man, they business. I mind my business. But I'm going to tell you for real, on some real shit, I believe it is, though. Yeah, mama. I, I, I think believe it's it is. aliens. It's something because you got to think they found oxygen on, 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 on these planets. They done found plants and shit growing to build life. Yeah. And like I said, bro, who knows what the fuck they done sent to space and who didn't come back and mm-hmm. don't know what the fuck is going on for real well apparently before they sent humans they sent up dogs one went up dead one came down alive or something like that like russia did it first really russia led everybody in the space race russia and germany uh during like the nazi times and then america kind of just jumped in like hey we went to the moon that's where it kind of like pretty much went to a big halt like and then they start sending rovers to mars so that's pretty much all the space timeline there is. There really isn't much to it. We really don't know what the fuck is out there for real, other than the people who have probably possibly been there. So it's actually a small timeline in, like, human history. We don't really know. The one thing we can say that we know, though, from ancient times is astronomy. People have known what the fuck's going on with the stars for, like, thousands of years. So we don't really know, uh, at least in our books and history and shit like that. We don't fucking know. We don't know shit. We really just going off what we can, see. like you said, bro, what we can see. 